Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn on private browsing mode on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. So I'm on my iPhone here, and I'm gonna do it in Safari. Um, it works the same in Google Chrome. You can do it in Google Chrome. You can also do it on Android using Google Chrome. But I'm gonna walk you through on iPhone in Safari. So first, of course, I'll just open up Safari here. And you can see I'm on google.com and you can tell that it's not in private browsing mode because at the very bottom center, it has a white background with a black google.com. So that means I'm in just normal mode where it'll save my history and data and all that stuff. If you wanna get into private browsing mode, it's pretty quick. So the first thing that you'll do is you'll just tap on the two squares at the bottom right here. And what I would recommend doing next is to close out of those windows. So if you wanna just keep everything secret and private, you can close out of those windows. You can tap the little X at the top right here, or you can just swipe to the left. I'll just swipe to the left. So you can see that all my windows are now closed. And if I want to enter into private browsing mode, I can tap the two squares at the bottom right again. And you can see where it says start page at this bottom center. I'll tap on start page and then it will give me an option to choose private. So I'll choose private and it'll say private browsing mode. Safari won't remember the pages you visited, your search history or your autofill information after you close the tab in private browsing mode. So this really kind of keeps everything secret, what you're searching and everything secret. So you can just tap the little plus at the bottom left here and then we'll go back to Google and you can see it's the exact same page However, at the bottom center, it's a dark background with a white google.com. And that means you're in private browsing mode. So you can search for whatever you want. And once you exit out of everything, it won't save your history or your autofill for information or your cache or anything like that. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.